All right, and that was Hunreluda knocking Agony. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Hunreluda are out of the tournament. Yeah. Before this, uh, I don't, I don't, what happened, why? This is why we were so worried about Agony Empire. I mean, they, they, they play that beautifully. Yes. Yep. I mean, they were a point down yes. going into the field. I yes. mean, and they stayed back yes. for five, five minutes. Six five, minutes. minutes? Yes. five minutes. Yeah. Who does that? <laughs> well, well, and, and it looked kind of, because their logistics were taking damage, and it looked kind of like, a, all right, we have to do something about this or we'll eventually lose. But it wasn't really. Like, it, mm. they, like, I think the logistics came close to dying if they hadn't killed yeah. the frigs fast enough, but yeah. they got the assault frigs down. We were all very confused about why they were staying back so far. Yes. I think this is one of those things where we may need to wait for their after-action yes. posts mm -hmm. where they're going to hopefully tell yeah. us what they were thinking because yeah. it obviously worked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, w I wonder if maybe, like, cause somebody was talking about the stream chat, I was watching that, if maybe they got a lucky jam off in the basilisk. They're trying mm. the whole time, land a jam, land a jam. As soon as they saw they had a jam, let's go in oh. and get some frigates because yeah. those yeah. frigates just, you know, instantly melted. They just disappeared. Mm. Yeah. So one thing I was very confused about is Hunt Reloaded was a point up yes. in the match, yes. and they started to approach Agony Empire. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> and it's funny because statistically <laughs> we talk about that the teams that initiate in these standoffs yeah. tend to lose. Exactly. Yep. And uh, yeah, maybe a bit more patience would have would have helped. Perhaps them. so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, anyway, exciting. And now um, Agony Empire have the pleasure of rote. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it is Agony can do all kinds of things. They're been uh, very surprising in the tournament for years. Mm. They're the team that basically were running Tinker setups before anyone yeah. else was running Tinker setups, so obviously they knew how to beat a Tinker. Oh. Well, I, I made my words later, but I think uh, as, as someone who's part of Ro Capel, even though I'm not part of the team or anything like that, I, I'm, I'm more comfortable going up against Agony than Hun, but I, I may eat those words. I mean, either way, I think Rode has a very tough fight ahead of them in that match, but um, I don't know, if I have to choose, I, I would prefer Agony, because they are a wild card team, which means that they all, there's also the wild chance that they, they, they drop a match, that they, they bring something yeah. that's a stinker. And Hun pretty much has shown solid setups, even if they haven't always executed, so. Yeah. I think for this tournament, I, I mean, tournament history-wise, I probably agree, but this tournament, uh, I think Agony might be... Yeah, they're, they're yeah. definitely, definitely I mean, a tough one. They have a shot all yeah. the way, I think, but... Uh, yeah, this will be interesting to watch them later in the day, too, to see if they can continue this, this streak they've kept on. Yep. yep. All right, so we have one more match, and then we're going back to uh, seeing the teams uh, that we saw when we started out the day. Uh, so <laughs> CVA, of course, started out at 1500 Eve, where they beat out Scum. Uh, when we're done with Darkness and Despair and Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork that are coming up here, then we'll go back to these guys, and it'll be CVA versus Darkseid. We'll go back to Virgin Collapse versus The Initiative, and then, of course, as we saw just now, Agony Empire versus Rope Capel. Uh, so we're, we're kind of uh, getting into the zone where, where these teams are fighting essentially on the hour now and yeah. uh, under that pressure. And, uh, well, I guess Agony have that to deal with as well. But uh, but they, they look strong and they don't have to replace a load of ships and uh, That's true. All, all this niceness. All right, well, let's uh, let's get the cards up for Darkness and Despair and in, in, uh, Inappropriate Footwork. Uh, while you guys talk about them, I'll just fish out the bands as well. All right, so yeah, Darkness and Despair lost to Darkseid. Again, a team that has knocked out, or knocked down a lot of good teams. They knocked Hun down into the loose bracket to get finished off by Agony. Um, but uh, other than that, haven't really faced very difficult opponents. But they have been very convincing. Hundred to two, hundred to two, or hundred to nine, hundred to zero, and then the two to one <laughs> <laughs> loss versus Darkseid in that ridiculous Tinker Tinker match. And then Footwork, I really liked Footwork. This is their first uh, tournament, as far as I know, and uh, they've been uh, very solid. I mean, defeating Kill with Fire, defeating the Godfathers, who are very solid, lost to Hydra, there's absolutely no shame yeah, in that. Shame. And then beating Sadistica, who are also pretty good in the loser's bracket, had done quite well. I mean, that's, that's a pretty solid path. Yeah, and if, if we just look at the, the, the bands quickly, so Darkness of Despair have banned the Molas and the Curse. Uh, hmm. Ministry of Inappropriate Footwork have banned the... Vexer Navy issue and the Dominics. Interesting. Hmm. Well, we have seen some of those, you know, in the yeah. tournament. The drone mm -hmm. setups. They, they don't want to see maybe a you know the Navy Dami replacement comp with the Vexer Vexer Navy support. Mm. I don't know. That's an interesting band, though. I don't think it's something we've seen banned yet that I'm aware yeah. of. Maybe I mean, some specific intel on setups. We've seen some good setups that combine Ishtars and Vexer Navy issues right. because those fit into a lot of the same yes, sort yeah. of um, setups. So. That's uh, yeah. and while this might not break a setup, it will weaken maybe two or three mm -hmm. setups that they might want to. Or break. maybe, like I said, if they have specific intel on yeah. something, yeah. Uh, you know, spies, yeah. and maybe they're yes. they're forcing them off a setup they know they yeah. plan on fielding and making them scramble last second. 
They noticed that darkness bought up all the Navy Vexers on the market. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> you can replace those uh, Navy Vexers with HeLa yes. stones. Yeah, so, that's, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It seems seems like a waste of fan to me. But you gotta go shield with HeLa. Maybe you can go armor yeah. with the Navy Vexer. Maybe they're forcing them to shields. I don't know. That, it'll be interesting to see what they feel. That may tell us a little more about their what their mind frame was when they yeah. made that ban. We've seen mm. the Curse be not a super popular ban so far this tournament. When we have seen it, it's often been because teams want to bring out a Vindicator or an Navy Mega team because yes. uh, mm -hmm. the Curse is very painful to yeah. both of those. Mm -hmm. While a Balgorn um, is really uh, more kind of generally dangerous, but not as specific about the tracking disruptors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, we do have the match ready now, so let's see Darkness of Despair, inappropriate footwork. What do you say, Bach? Inappropriate footwork. Right. I'm going with say. footwork as well. I think I'm going to go with Darkness and Despair. I think mm -hmm. they're going to pull it out. You know what? I think so, too. I'm going with Darkness of Despair. 